A very good evening to everyone. Welcome to Global Online. Here we are back with our NTA UGC NET Paper 1 preparation for 2022 batch where we have the concept series. And in this, the topic for the day is Research Aptitude Unit where we are going to see various types and methods of research. Before we go ahead, let's uh, make an important announcement that the new batch for uh, Paper 1 is going to start from 19th of September, that is Monday, where we'll be starting a new unit. At the same time, for the quick revision for your upcoming examination, we have a quick revision PDF for Paper 1 consisting of 2000 MCQs, updated MCQs, current affairs, previous year's MCQs, as well as uh, the most repeated questions, which you can get access with the help of given WhatsApp number. You can uh, ping us on the WhatsApp number. The fees for same is Y double line. For paper two, we have notes and MCQs available. The list of paper two subject is already reflected on screen. We have added the new subject that is philosophy. The cost for same is 1,700. We have a 25% discount going on, which will result into 1275. For the access, you can get in touch with us on the given WhatsApp number. You know that total questions from this unit are five. Total number of marks allotted are 10. So every question carry two marks. The syllabus consists of research method, steps, thesis, application, and research ethics. In yesterday's class, we have already completed positivism and post-positivistic approach. Today, we are going to see some types, sorry, yes, some types as well as some methods. So let's start the session. But before that, a quick topic of characteristics I have taken because characteristics question is seen again and again repetitive in the cycles. Now, when I say characteristics, basically these characteristics are uh, related to research, which is solution oriented, which is logical, which is objective, which is impartial, accurate, systematic, verifiable and empirical. So some or other ways you get the statement questions and you are supposed to answer the questions. So a research is an empirical process, okay, which involves data collection which results into based on observation or empirical evidence. Research re re sorry, rejects assumptions and dogma as methods of established knowledge. So there is nothing which can be based on, you know, assumption. It only and only accepts the empirical observations. That is the uh, field uh, or real observation or you can say the rational observation. Then we have objectives of research. This also you get a question from this. So that is to, uh, to find or to discover the new facts, to test and verify the facts, to ensure or to analyze the process in with respect to identifying the cost and effect relationship, to have or develop scientific tools, to understand the scientific and non-scientific problems, to find scientific, non-scientific and social problems and to overcome and solve problems occurring in everyday life. So basically, the research objectives are, you know, based on these following facts. I have given, I have made one slide also wherein the research objectives are, you know, bifurcated. So when I say theoretical objectives, it's formulation of a theory, basic knowledge, exploring the association between different variables and using the fundamental research. When I say factual objectives, it is finding a fact used, you know, in history or explain in ex exploratory research. And when we talk about applied objective, it is basically use of already existing theories to the new situation uh, with the help of, in you know, with, with the respect of applied research. So here also you can get a very good understanding about the objectives. Now coming to is very important topic that is qualitative and quantitative research. So when we talk about qualitative research, it involves quality which is, you know, with uh, that is understanding of problems which cannot be quantified. So here def definitely we have uh, more of the understanding of a problems where which cannot be in any ways quantified. If they are open-ended, that is, you know, it is inductive uh, approach that is specific to general. You can say one question was there, you know, inductive deductive approach. So you should know, sorry hypothetic deductive or hypothetic inductive approach. So you should know that in qualitative research, we have inductive approach, whereas the quantitative research comes with a deductive approach that is with the help of close and uh, ended questions. Here I have given an example for you to understand. The examples are same, but they have been just changed, you know, with the 
quantitative and qualitative approach. So when I talk about study conducted to know about why people suffer from mental disorders, how this affect the personal life of a person, effectiveness of medical facilities, the hardship they face while availing this facility. So it is basically about people who suffer from the mental disorders about their personal life. The same example, if you take, it is talking in quantitative, it is talking about what? Uh, it's basically talking about your time limit, that is extent of uh, the estimated time for the treatment, which will help to understand, you know, the problem or which will help to understand the availability, the extent of facilities and to cure the, uh, you know, the patients in such situation. So in qualitative, it is a semi-structured, you can say, or unstructured approach, whereas in quantitative, it is a structured approach. Now, uh, next we have a fundamental and applied research. Here's many students, see, right now we understand it very well, but when the question comes to students get confused. So just understand it very well. So when we say fundamental approach, sorry, fundamental research, it is basic research. It is also called as fundamental research uh, or it is called as pure research. So it is, you know, to generalize, it is used to generalize, uh, to add to make an addition to the existing knowledge. So based on the addition with the existing knowledge, new facts are found out. Whereas in applied research, it is applied in any specific social or business issue. In fundamental research, it is formulating the theories which has a greater scope of application by formulating theories. Whereas in applied research, it is conducted to find out any particular problem to analyze uh, or to analyze any particular issue. So anal analysis is done based on you know based on the uh, specific or uh, business uh, issue whereas in fundamental we talk about formulating you know uh, the theories which have a greater scope of application then we have a structured research so in this uh, search objectives or designs or samples are pre-decided with structured so it is everything you know pre-planned whereas in unstructured there is a flexibility and there is no such pre uh, de decision taken in it is quantitative research to know the extent of problem it is a qualitative research to know the nature of problem so unstructured is more of you know qualitative whereas structured is quantitative in nature vice versa you can you know in qualitative and quantitative also these points can be taken next we have a conceptual and empirical research so conceptual is basically establishing a concept based on observations and not on experiments whereas in empirical it is performing the experiments and coming up you know to providing the new theories so conceptual it talks about the theoretical approach which is used to develop new theories or to redefine the already existing theories so please remember you're very clear concepts can help us to develop new theories or to redefine the existing ones whereas in empirical it is based on practical and experimental approach this is basically, uh, you know, uh, the understanding of conceptual and your e empirical research. Coming next is descriptive and analytical. So when we say descriptive, it is simply to describe, to explain uh, the occurring of a problem or a solution or a phenomena. Whereas in analytical, it is explaining why it is occurring. That occurring, that is explaining the uh, the reason, the uh, impact behind or the analysis behind a study, detailed study behind a research. In description, we have description, classification, comparison, which are used to describe the phenomena. In analytical, the cost and effect relationship is explained. In descriptive example, analyzing the trend of prices of pulses, whereas uh, the, the example is given is the trend of prices of pulses, whereas in analytical, the reason behind the change in prices is mentioned. So, this is basically what it is basically uh, indicating about what it is basically indicating about the analytical research. So, this is what we have done in short various. We have more to study, but I have taken few of the types and methods. In tomorrow's class also, we will be taking few types and methods and we'll understand them. But at the same time, along with this, simultaneously do your MCQs also. It will be helping you a lot with the concepts. Okay, thank you everyone. See you tomorrow in the next concept class.